Hey y'all, welcome back to Collectible Stonks. Uh, if you are new to the channel and you like seeing the financial side of collectibles as well as just regular TCG news, uh, specifically for MetaZoo and Flesh and Blood currently, uh, then consider hitting that subscribe button. We actually just crossed the 300 subscriber mark, so I just want to say thank you guys so much for that and for supporting the channel. Um, but today, just want to make a really quick video regarding the D Brews collaboration so my last video was on the metazoo and tops collaboration uh today i just want to give a little bit more information on the debros collab that's happening in a few days uh, it actually happens in a couple of days on the 6th this wednesday so it's it's t-shirts right uh, it's like this one right here it's 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 a t-shirt collaboration you know with with an artist um However, they added something which I kind of like and I also kind of kind of know that this is going to be another clusterfuck, <laughs> at least in the secondary market. Um, maybe I'm wrong and hopefully I'm wrong, but, you know, they're adding chase cards uh, to specific packages. I mean, not specific, but, you know, like there's a one in six chance that your T-shirt order has a promotional card now let me show the promo card real quick so the d brews x metazoo there will only be 800 of these printed keep in mind from my understanding from what i've been reading on the discord and from what information mike has given out um i believe this is basically best way to think about this is this is like you know like a uh, first series, there it is. I got like the first series of D Bruce uh, Metazoo collaboration. There will be more collaborations, but the the promo hollow card is a ch is a chase. <laughs> so it's it's kind of a little mystery pack. So you see this right here. It's it's a little mystery box slash envelope. It looks like a box uh, where you will receive one random T shirt, which the shirts alone are also a mystery. There, there's different rarities and and things like that. Um, and of course, one in six of these boxes will also get the holographic promo card. The fact that it's one in six means uh, that the, to the, the total amount in existence will be, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, if, if I did my, my math right, it's like, uh, what, like 800 cards, maybe 500 cards. In fact, you know, let's, let's uh, quick math. So let's do that real quick. 3,500 boxes, divide that by six. Uh, I, may, I may have done that wrong. Whatever, it's about... Let's say 600 to be safe. I could be I could be way off. I need to. We'll see the info right now. But basically, I don't know how that's gonna go. I mean, obviously, because it's it's very limited. Uh, yep, there is only 3,500 blind boxes, and one of the one out of six boxes are seated with an exclusive holographic promo. So that's about right. So you're looking at a card that has maybe 600. Uh, like out in the wild that will be out in the wild with this collab I can already see this card going for quite a bit of money alone and like not forget the shirt the <laughs> the freaking promotional card will probably will probably be worth quite a bit um, but here's the kicker right so here are all the other shirts different designs as you see so here's the Piazza bird uh, the uh, sewer gator you know the bunny man etc you know babe the blue ox you get a random shirt, one out of six has a chase card, but then they added even more fire to the to the thing. And this is what I'm kind of worried about. Very cool of them to do, but I'm kind of worried that people will try to take advantage of it. Um, they will be, and this is confirmed, and in fact, I'm going to scroll down here past the, the top stuff. Um, they have confirmed that a hundred of those boxes will have Kickstarter packs. So, here it is. Yes, there will be 100 Kickstarter booster packs seeded throughout the D-Brews boxes. The limit will be one box per person, and it will be enforced heavily. So, that essentially means you have a 1 in 35 chance of receiving a Kickstarter booster pack, which alone, man, those sell for what, maybe, uh, what, two, three hundred dollars a pack? So I can already tell there's gonna there there's gonna be quite a bit of people definitely hopping on board for this drop. Um, not only so like not only do you have a chance at a a one out of six hundred card or whatever, which is the promotional card, but you also have a chance at a two to three hundred dollar Kickstarter booster pack. So 
my thoughts on that is very um, straight out. Like that's freaking dope, dude. Like, it, like heck yeah. Like that's awesome. People that, that end up getting a pack, or the people that end up getting that get in a card, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna be extremely, extremely happy. Uh, especially the people that get the Kickstarter booster packs, and let's say they pull a freaking Mothman, like that's crazy. But I don't know how it's gonna work. I don't know what they're gonna be doing to heavily enforce the one box per person. Does that mean one box per household, or does that mean that anybody with the same address can ju can just use people's names? Like, for example, could I use my sister's name, my, my brother's name, my mom's name, my dad's name? Can I can I use my friends' names and go to this address if I'm quick enough? That's what I'm curious about, because unless it's account it's account limited, like for example, let's say you have to have a marketplace account, right, to, in order to order something or whatever. Let's say that that's how they keep track. What's stopping people from just creating more accounts? Are they is this is this a per per address? Are they going to be actually checking the addresses and, and all that? I don't know, but essentially, there's only 3,500 boxes. You can you can you. Can, you can probably already tell that this drop is going to be bonkers. It's going to be absolutely bananas in, on Wednesday. It's going to be dropping at noon EST. The only thing about it is, of course, most people are at work, so there may be a little bit of a better chance to grab some product, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Those 100 Kickstarter booster packs seeded just basically makes it a whole other game. I mean, potentially, what, this is going to be 40 bucks for one of these boxes? Let's say the promo card alone is going to be worth $150, $200, maybe even more just based on the, sh the like just the non-existent quantity of them, you know? So that's what that's, and that's a one in six chance, right? And I mean, shoot, man, if you get the freaking Kickstarter pack in there and that alone, if you were to sell it is like, again, it's like two or $300 depending on who you're like, I mean, a regular Kickstarter sealed booster box was hovering anywhere between seven to ten thousand dollars last I saw. So like odds are great to get either the, the promo or that. So this is gonna sell out probably in like a minute, maybe under a minute. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. Like I'm I'm very excited, but I'm also like, dang, like I'm starting to wonder if maybe lotteries for these type of products are the way to go. And of course, a lot of people don't like lotteries because, again, anybody could just create a, free, a random ass email and get on the lottery on one of their many created emails. So I don't know, but I figured I wanted to talk about it. It's, it's like I'm, I'm kind of speechless. Uh, I know I'm a little late. I'm probably like a day or two late talking about this, but I'm very excited for these shirts. Of course, you know, I'm, I'm sure everybody's wanting like either probably Mothman, the shirt and or probably Loveland or even. You know, the bunny, the bunny man. Um, obviously, I'd love, I would love a Mothman shirt. That, ugh, that That's so cool, man. <laughs> but I don't know, man. I don't know how to feel about it. I'm excited. I'm, I'm kind of nervous, uh, I guess. If, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going I'm to be opening it up for the channel. If I, can, if I can score one of these, I will open up the box on the channel. And we'll see if we get lucky with a chase or not. But anyways, yeah, I, I think these boxes are going to sell out in under a minute. Um, my, honestly, I would say if I were to get an educate, if I were to give an educated guess on how much these will be worth in the secondary market sealed anywhere between two to $300 minimum, uh, hell they might even go for more considering that, Hey, if there's a chance for a seated Kickstarter pack, you know, people are more willing to, to kind of gamble at that, you know, but if the, uh, if the promotional card itself sells for two or $300, um, then man, these, these boxes are going to sell like hotcakes, man. These are going to sell like hotcakes. And we haven't even, we haven't even talked about the value of the t-shirt alone. Like the t-shirts are going to be, are going to be valuable too. Like, oh man. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I need to, I need to get off of here. But essentially, if you didn't know, now you do. If you did know, thanks for hearing me ramble about this. Uh, hopefully I can score a box on Wednesday. Do I have hope? Not much, especially after the tops debacle. But we'll see. Thank you, guys. I will see you guys later.